Algebra 1, section 1, 3, we're dealing with solving equations by multiplication and division. Last section we dealt with addition and subtraction, and this section we're dealing with multiplication and division. But the rules still apply. We are isolating the variables, so we're getting the variables by themselves, okay? And we have to do the opposite in order to get rid of it. But most importantly, our chant is what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. One side of what? Well, what you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other side of the equal sign to keep things balanced, because we can't just have things disappear. So, let's start with the first one. Negative A equals J over 3. We're focusing on the side with the variable. So in this case, this is our side with the variable. And right now, it's being divided by 3. So the opposite of being divided by 3 is being multiplied by 3, right? Because a 3 over 3 gives us 1, leaving us with just j. So this cancels out. So then I do what I wanted to do. I got j by itself. But in order to have a correct expression, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I can multiply this by 3, but it means I must also multiply this side by 3. And 3 times negative 8 gives me negative 24. Right? If I put negative 24 in for j, <laughs> then I should, and I divide by 3, it should give me a negative 8. So make sure to change your, uh, make sure to check your answers. Right? Right. Isolate V by getting rid of its friend negative 6. And, it, and how we do it is that negative 6 is being connected to V by multiplication. So the opposite of multiplication would be, the opposite of multiplication would be, division. So then we'd have to divide by negative 6. This cancels out, bring down that equal sign, and I end up with just a V. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So if I divide by negative 6 here, I have to divide by negative 6 here. So one more time, how we got to this so far is that I'm trying to um, isolate V, and so um, in order for it, I have to get rid, I have to do the opposite. So this is being multiplied by negative 6. I have to divide by negative 6 to get rid of it, because negative 6 over negative 6 gives us 1, which leaves me with just v, right? Because the same number, top and bottom, gives me just 1. So 1v one is the same thing as saying just v. So 4.8, negative 4.8 divided by negative 6, these negatives cancel out, giving me a positive. And 4.8 divided by 6, is 0.8. So I end up with positive 0.8. Simple. If I think that I got it wrong, I'm just going to put 0.8 in for V to see if it gives me 4.8. Negative 4.8. Right. The next one, I'm dealing with fractions. Now fractions, um, in order for to do the opposite, basically I just have to flip it. So if I have 5 over 6, the opposite of 5 over 6 is to multiply it by 6 over 5. That way the 6 and 6 cancel out and the 5 and 5 cancel out, leaving me with just W. So this cancels out with this and this cancels out with this and I have just W. I bring down that equal sign. Now, again, what do I do to one side? I have to do to the other. So that means I also have to multiply this by 6 over 5. Okay? And I multiply a whole number by taking the whole number, so negative 20, and I multiply it by 6, right? And then I divide it by 5. So I'm going to do negative 20 times 6, which gives me negative 120. Okay? So negative 120 over 5, right? So then from there, I just divide it. Negative 120 divided by 5, which gives me... 24. So whenever I have a fraction, the opposite is just to flip the fraction, and I just keep my chant. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So in this case, same as here, 1 over 8, I have to get rid of it, okay, by multiplying it. I know it's being multiplied by z, but if I'm dealing with fractions, I'm going to multiply nonetheless, and I'm going to do 8 over 1, okay. This and this cancel out, and this and this cancel out, leaving me with just, bring down the equal sign, z. Okay? 
And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So then I have to multiply this by 8 over 1. Now, in this case, I multiplied by a whole number. So I have to multiply the top and then divide by the bottom. But because I'm multiplying a fraction, I'm just going to multiply it across. 8 times 3, which is 24, and then 16. Now, this will give me a decimal, or I can uh, reduce it. Either answer I will accept. So 24 divided by 16 gives me 1.5 equals Z, or I can say 3 fourths. It doesn't matter. I mean, sorry. 3 over 2, 3 half. All right, so go ahead and write this down um, and do page 27, numbers 4, 10, and 18. 27, numbers 4, 10, and 18. I'll see you in class.